In this video, I'm gonna answer the question that I got just the other day, should I try yoga? Now, this is a, could be a little controversial depending on your uh, thoughts on this, and I don't wanna get a lot of haters uh, harassing me, but here's kind of my thoughts on how I see this within kind of fitness. So, yoga is not really the best way to get stronger or fitter or build more endurance. There's lots of other better ways to do that. So if that is your primary objective, I would not recommend yoga. Um, but yoga could be a really good way to uh, stretch out a little bit and have a structured time to do that. Uh, it could be a really good way to get into some mindfulness and meditative practices. Some yoga variations are gonna emphasize that more than others, and that can be really, really beneficial. Uh, and it could also be just a really good way to just have fun and do something that you just kind of find maybe relaxing or just a positive part of your day. So if you just like yoga and really enjoy it, um, or you're looking for some of those other benefits, uh, you might wanna consider doing it. Um, now the one thing that I would say though, uh, you, where you want to be careful with yoga, is if you have had any uh, back problems, um, you know, sometimes there's a lot of forward bending and there's a lot of extension, and depending on your body, you may be a little bit sensitive to one of those things, and one of those things may actually be a pain trigger for you. I did another uh, actually really good video on this, which I'm going to link to below, um, if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about there, but you just want to understand that, you know, depending on your injury history, um, that all the positions and postures in yoga may not be the best fit for you. The other thing where you just wanna be a little bit concerned uh, is if you're already hyper mobile or your joints are kind of lax. I'm also gonna post a link to some kind of tests or self-assessments you can do on that. But if you are uh, double jointed or you have shoulders that dislocate very frequently or that type of thing, um, or, you know, or you're just like crazy, crazy flexible, um, doing something like yoga may actually be counterproductive because your muscles won't really tend to get much of a stretch and you actually don't need any more flexibility. Uh, what you probably need more of is strength and stability. And what you'll probably find is you'll end up just over time stretching out the ligaments and the capsules that hold your joints together, thereby creating more instability. So those are just a few things you wanna be cautious of if you're thinking about getting into a yoga practice. For the average person who is just really stiff and sits at a desk job and doesn't have any of those worries, yoga can be a great addition to your kind of overall training plan. Again, the only thing I would just say is uh, if your goal is to get really, really fit or really, really strong, uh, yoga by itself is not gonna get you there. I don't have anything against yoga, I actually really like it, um, but that's just kind of where I see it and how it sits on the kind of spectrum of fitness. So I hope that gave you a little bit of perspective on where yoga sits on the kind of fitness uh, continuum. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments, if you hate what I said and you're just a diehard yoga lover, uh, put it in the comments below and uh, you know, I'll take a listen to what you have to say. <laughs> All right, catch you on the next one.